foam rollers. Why do we use them? What are they good for? Stick around. Hello. Welcome to Lady in Waking. This is um, my new Monday morning uniform. I actually changed my my filming time so you're gonna see my workout clothes more often than not um, because that's what I basically live in and I think that's realistic because I think a lot of us live in yoga wear when we're at home but that beside the point the reason that I made this video today was based on a request to, to do a video dedicated to each type of roller set and you can make a decision on your own based on these videos um, what you think will work best for your hair what you think will work best for your time the rollers that we're covering in today's video is the sponge roller and this is a sponge roller this one has hair on it i'm going to discuss the pros and cons in a second but this roller is specifically great for sleeping in they're relatively comfortable to sleep in they're excellent for a nice sturdy curl these curls are excellent for the base in a lot of 1940s hairstyles like victory rolls more elaborate poodle hairstyles looking at the wrong spot again on the camera. Uh, this is a perfect set to use for that particular type of, of style. So keep that in mind. It's excellent, it's sturdy, it's time honored. It's just one of these great roller sets that works for a lot of different types of vintage styles. For people who wear vintage hair every day, a lot of times this is kind of their go-to because it's a lot easier to maintain and um, than pin curls and it's also a lot more foolproof. Pin curls can tend to be temperamental based on the weather your foam roller set typically turns out about the same every time. So that's the basics of foam rollers. They come like this. It's like a tube of sponge. It tends to break down over time. You'll probably have to replace them. With this little clip, the clip goes together like so. And you will see that me use these in the actual construction of the roller set. So you'll see that. Um, and then you'll also see the brush out. Now, generally to brush out, you will need a couple of brushes and I probably will make a video in the future about general brush or general vintage style must-haves. But my two go-to brushes are the Curl Shaper brush from Vintage Hairstyling, which this is on Lauren Reynolds' website, and the Denman brush. This is a standard, traditional, like, vinyl brush, um, or not vinyl, but the it's got the plastic bristles and it's got this bed here which helps fight static which today my hair is super dry because we have um, you know natural heat in our house we have wood burning heat so we get a lot of the moisture sucked out of our environment in the winter time so my hair has got tons of static in it today you probably saw me fight it in the brush out or will see me fight it in the brush out so this is the two types of brushes that I use um, You'll hear a lot about this particular set and what I did with it in the um, narration of the both the rolling portion and the brush out portion, so I'm not going to go too much into that. So let's get to the rolling of the hair and the brush out, and then we will pop back in on the back end of this video for a um, sort of a, a discussion of the pros and cons of foam rollers. Okay, so I'm starting on two-day hair. This is second-day hair that's been previously styled. It's already full of product, so I'm not going to add any sort of setting lotion. I'm just going to brush it through pretty well, and then I'm just going to take a regular spray bottle of water, and I'm going to spray each section before I roll. With my bangs, I roll it back on a small little foam roller, but I just use bobby pins to hold this in place. I don't use the clamp because I don't want there to be a wave there. Um, sometimes I utilize that, as you know, but this time I did not want to, so I just use bobby pins to keep that in place, and that's going to keep my bangs back so that they are blendable into the rest of the style. And then I just take um, side sections going down, like I have my hair parted on the side right now, but if you had your hair parted in the middle, you would just start at the top and work your way down. I don't use a comb. I'm not specific. I'm super lazy. This is literally just my way of showing you how to use foam rollers for a lazy person because I do not use the comb. I don't section it out. I just wrap it very tightly around the ends and then wind it in tightly because the tightness, the tension is what I feel like makes it, um, makes the curl take better for me. Um, and you'll notice that I pull it pretty much straight out as I'm rolling it in so that it sits directly on the roots of the section you're rolling. As you place it, when you put the clamp down, you'll notice that it sits directly on 
the um, the roots of the section you're rolling and that's called rolling on base and that's what gives it that nice lift that we want to have no droopiness and then what I do is I take the back and I actually just split it in two and just haphazardly roll both sections under going from the bottom down or from the top down and I usually just go side to side side to side and you'll see that I don't roll very large sections um, not uh, maybe about an inch sections and I usually, like I said, keep that tension going pretty well. And then that is it. That's the full roller set. That's what I'm going to be sleeping on. And I usually wrap it in this little net that I got from Lauren Reynolds' head, uh, website. I love it. Keeps them in place all night. Now the next morning, all that I do is unroll it from the bottom up. Unroll each roller from the bottom up. I make sure and I unwind them pretty carefully. Don't pull because the foam roller, the nature of it, it will want to snag your hair. Sometimes it does snag my hair anyway. This one here gave me a lot of trouble. But basically, once you get all of the curls unwound, you're going to want to brush through them and break them up. I am using the Curl Shaper brush for the first portion, and I just brush through thoroughly until it's just a big frizzy mess, and I just get all of it broken up, get that product broken up, the curls broken up. And then I go and I switch to my Denman brush, which is a lot more sturdy. And I use that to give myself a bit of a deeper brush. And I feel like that's what brings the shine into the style. So after I break up all of these curls, and this brush is great because it doesn't pull my hair out. But after I break up all those curls, then I take that Denman brush and I just give it a good thorough deep brush. And that's what gives it that shine. You can see that shine has already set in towards the crown. And then I take the Curl Shaper brush, Shaper brush again, and I use it to shape whatever style I want to go for. For this one, I wanted something that was a little Gina Rollins, a little bit, um, you know, kind of fluff at the bottom, as opposed to a page boy. So you can see me brushing through the back and all that static. I usually spray my brush with a little hairspray as I'm brushing it, just to kind of keep it from being too frizzy. But that's it and it should look something like this when you're done. So, pros of a foam roller set. Obviously the curl. It gives you a beautiful 1950s, 1940s appropriate curl. You can brush your hair in so many different ways with this type of curl because it's such a sturdy curl. It lasts. It's an excellent, long-lasting option for a set. Um, it is generally easy to sleep in, generally fail foolproof when it comes to your consistency of the turnout of these styles. Cons, there's not a whole lot. They're all things you can work with. One of the cons, and I'll show it to you because I left it in intentionally, is the dents. Generally these clips leave little bits of dents in the tops of the hair. Now, I use um, just water to set my hair. If you use a lot of styling product, those dents will be more pronounced, so keep that in mind. You can get rid of the dents by teasing, backcombing the hair. I don't do a lot of backcombing. I never have done a lot of backcombing. Um, and you probably saw, I'm, like I said in the narration of the, of the rolling, I am a person who is lazy when it comes to my roller sets. I don't do those strategic roller sets using the comb and all that kind of stuff. I love the fact that there's girls that do that and have that sort of commitment. I roll my hair while I'm watching TV. I don't care. <laughs> Generally, I'm happy with it regardless. So these are lazy girl sets, which means I don't want to worry too much about this dent. What I do is I mix my roller sets, and you will probably see that in upcoming videos after we finish dealing with these rollers individually. Um, you'll notice that I use a lot of um, mixed sets. So I will generally use flexi rods on the top to avoid the whole denting thing and then use foam rollers on the bottom if I want to go with a foam roller set, but we won't worry about that right now. So keep in mind right now, if you care about the dents, then there are ways that you can work around them. You can also take this clip off and just bobby pin them the way I did my bangs in the video. So that's an option. Also some cons, they do tend to pull hair out. Do you see that? Yeah, it happens. Happens almost every time. There's at least a few hairs lost. Um, they are they can get tangled. You probably saw that in the video as well. And then another another negative to it, they do break down over time. They have to be replaced. Um, denting, tangling, hair pulling out, really the only ones. They're excellent. They're wonderful for a vintage set. You'll see me use them a lot. 
And so hopefully that was helpful for those of you who wanted a more specific video dedicated to this type of roller set. I am really excited about this series. Don't forget to check out my um, other short form videos, Reels, Instagram, um, Reels on Instagram, TikTok, shorts here will have like outfit posts and just little small things like before and after roller sets and stuff like that. So you'll still see some of that stuff regardless of whether we focus on this series for a while. But that's sort of what I had intended to do anyway is just kind of focus on this series for now. Um, if you are someone who would be more interested in seeing additional videos as well, then by all means follow me on the other social network pages. Rate, comment, subscribe to help me with the algorithm. And this channel is all about wait not want not you guys don't probably know what that means but to me what it means is it means no more waiting around if you find that you want to accomplish something just get to it do your best do it i think it's one of those things that we the more waiting that we do the more more uh, content we are with waiting and i just don't think we need to be content with waiting anymore so thank you again for tuning in as always. And also I really want to supply whatever it is that you are interested in. So feel free to comment below. Give me any input that you'd want about my videos. I have, I'm, I'm, you're not gonna offend me, don't worry. But let's get to whatever it is that we are wanting to accomplish, whatever goals we have, let's just do it. That's what this channel's all around. Waking up and no more waiting.